guys, Sarah here, and welcome to episode 2 of my Final Fantasy XIV series. In the previous episode, I entered Gridania and I signed up to the Adventurers Guild. If you're curious and interested to see what happens next, please stay tuned. So we're back! Now, before we proceed, I would like to apologize for the previous video because my pronunciation of Gridania changed like halfway through and I don't know what was going on but hopefully it sticks to one uh, one version of it in this video so I am in the Carline Canopy with Mother Mio, 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 I can't remember how I pronounce her name Mione Mione you know what I'm just gonna leave it yeah Let's leave it. So let's go on with the story. So up here it says my next main scenario quest so it's close to home which is with Mother Mione and I'm gonna see what she's got for me. So this quest is called Close to Home and it says Mione or the proprietress of the Carline Canopy wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. So let's do that. Let's accept. Really. A cutscene. Anyway. So she says, let us begin at the beginning, shall we? Good start. So now that I'm a former member of the Adventurers Guild, I must be sure that I have a firm grasp of the fundamentals of adventuring. So she has three tasks for us to perform. The first task is to visit the Aerith... Aerithrite? Wow. This massive crystal stands in the middle of the Aerithrite Plaza, not far from the Carline Canopy. Okay. So it's a device that enables instantaneous transportation and plays a key role in the life of uh, the ever-wandering adventurer, which is us, or me rather. So once you've located the crystal, all you need to do is touch a surface and a member of the wood whalers will be present to offer further instruction. Cool. Second task now. So I need to visit the Archers Guild. Basically there I would learn the arts of the bow, which makes sense. So I need to speak with Athena and she will explain the benefits of joining the guild. Cool. This place is so pretty. Look at the stained glass window, like behind and on the roof. That's so nice. So for the third and final task, I need to visit the markets at the heart of Old Gridania's commercial district. I should find weapons and armor and all various items that an adventurer might need on her travels. Cool. So those seem like three pretty simple tasks. Okay, so she's saying that the ma master merchant at the markets can be quite uncooperative. So I'm guessing she's going to give us something to persuade him to kindly help us. Mm. So I have my task and may Norfica guide my path. She has a lot to say. I thought she was done. Uh, so it, basically I'm guessing she's saying if I see any NPCs in need, uh, I should stop and help them, which I probably will. So it's work that would help me prove worth and build reputation and then I'll be trusted more. Cool. Like, look at this place, guys. Even the floor shines. So she suggests that I lend an ear to the smith here in the canopy. The smiths are trusted representatives of the Adventurers Guild and are an invaluable source of advice for any neophyte heroes seeking to attain greatness. Alright, we shall have a word. Maybe we should do that first, actually. Oh. Oh, he's pretty. 
Wait, come back. Cool. Quest is accepted. Right. So, first task is to attune myself to the Aerithrite found inside the city. Second is to visit the Archer's Guild. And third is to listen to Pass Montret's explanation of the markets. Okay. Um. What's the smith? You know what? Let's talk to that smith person she was mentioning earlier. If, since we're here, we might as well. Sorry, guys. I'm going to disable this help window because it's annoying so greetings i am one of the smiths a striker of fires and forger of futures as a dedicated member of the adventurers guild i have been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers cool so i've recently taken up the adventurers mantle right okay Okay. <laughs> uh, so mentors stand ready to advise you on any aspect of adventuring. Okay. All right. So. So the new adventurer status is applied to all players who have recently begun their adventures in Orezia. I hope I pronounced that right. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so amongst the firing population there are seasoned players known as mentors who have taken it upon themselves to assist these new adventurers. Cool. When a new adventurer and mentor form a party they both receive a bonus to experience points and okay so in, upon invitation by a mentor new adventurers gain access to the novice network an exclusive chat channel where they can consult with other mentors and share experience okay sounds good i think they're trying to foster kind of like um even though you're playing alone you're not alone kind of vibe with this which is nice Uh. Oh man, more dialogue, hold on. Oh my gosh, I can move this? I had no idea. Let me just settle here. Okay, so I feel like it's going to repeat what I already knew. So, uh... Let's get going. Is that a butterfly? Let me just... Oh, she's gone. Never mind. So yeah, what was the first task? Attune ourselves to the earth. Right. Let's head out. No. Oh, I see it already. I was going to say, where is it? But it's literally right there, I think. Hmm. Yeah, it's got the um, cross marker on it. So before that, let me click on this. Because this is like a a bigger version of the mini map up in, in the right corner. And I can zoom in and zoom out. But it kind of shows me where I am and probably where I need to go as well. So let's do this first bit. A tuning. So I'm attuned to this error right? Yes. I do follow instructions pretty well. So this is Nisia of the Wood Whalers. So the devices that tap into the Aerithral energies and are primarily used as a mean to travel swiftly from one place to another. Cool. Return and teleport. 
the most common transportation spells make direct use of the erythrites and the connection to the throat of aether or ether i think it's aether so these devices are found in almost every corner of erosia any adventurer worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune herself to each one okay Uh, but you do not need to locate them all at once. Before rushing into the wilds, I suggest you start with the ones found here. Reasonable advice. So if I have any more questions, I can go over to her and ask. Kill. Ooh. I learned a new skill. So that's the first task on my list done so i think the return is this one here and it's set to this key um i think the, when i start like doing more combat i'll see how the keys like i'll probably f change up the placement of these skills and stuff but for now we'll leave them where they are so my next task is to visit the adventurers guild now let's see this map Okay, that's where the Adventurer's Guild is, and this is where I am. So, I need to... Head this direction? Oh, it's quiet here. I feel like I'm leaving the area. Wait, where is it that I need to go? Right. Oh, it's water. Casual waterfall. Oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Got distracted by the water. Okay. Is that Ethernet? Like Ethernet? I wonder what that is. Oh, I'm attuning. Okay. That's lucky. You now have Ethernet access. Okay. Ah, the event. The. Archer's Guild. Oops, going the whole way. Quiver's Hold. Ooh. Ah, Alethea. Greetings. Why, yes, I do. <laughs> Gentle instruction from me, on eh? So this is basically a place where archers practice their skills, I'm guessing. So archery as practiced in Gridonia was born of two distinct styles of bowmanship. The first was devised by the longbow centuries of the Elzen who once ruled the lowlands, while the second belonged to the short bow hunters of the formerly nomadic yeah we're gonna skip that <laughs> as you would doubtlessly be aware both races ultimately came to call the twelve wood home okay interesting so they were rivals before but they've learned to live together in harmony and they learnt from each other and there are two schools of archery intermingling to give birth to the art as it's known today Noise. Primarily used for hunting. Oh, they use it to in the pursuit of perfection. Interesting. 
Anyway, let's skip, 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 skip. Who is this lady like right here? Okay, so before I can enlist, I need to gain the approval of the guild master. Right, so that's done. We'll come back. And, uh, oh, wow, completely missed the door. So now that's done, what do I need to go next? I need to go to Old Gridania. So back the way that I came. I'm pretty sure there's a way I can like sprint. What is it? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Actually, actually just did go the wrong way so I need to go here old Gridania cool so I just need to go straight up ahead oh wait this looks like a marketplace am I right or am I right Oh, this person I need to talk to. By what right does a fledging adventurer presume to address Pass Montret, the master of the markets? Okay. You think you can just stroll in here, bold as you please? I, I literally just came to talk to you, like relax. <sighs> Crazy. Oh, this is what the the food was for <laughs> eel, p eel pie I feel like that's something that people eat like in real life that doesn't sound nice though so uh let's hand eel pie over don't like it anyway Oh, let's listen to what he has to say. So, a barren adventurer need look no further than the rosewood and ebony stores, both are but a short stroll from where we stand, okay? If you mean to do battle, you'd best be prepared with a quality set of weapons and armor. That's a given. So I can find those in the rosewood stores right so if it's potions and stuff that i need head north to the ebony stores the shelves are lavishly stocked lavishly stocked <laughs> by a widely traveled by widely traveled merchants hmm i wonder if you guys noticed the word that i skipped i'm not i'm not gonna attempt to pronounce it because that was just no <laughs> um yep okay so I've done those three tasks and I'm gonna report back to mother Mione back at the car line canopy so back the way that I went I can always come back and explore these uh, places later. Okay, so I need to head back to the canopy, which is all the way over there. So, let me close this. Oh. Am I going the right way? Oh, 
Oh yeah, I'm here. Let's talk to Mother Mone. Yes, I returned. So the three locations will feature prominently in my life as an adventurer. So it's best I grow familiar with them as soon as possible. Cool. So. Uh, I didn't listen to people, but I can always do that later. Okay. So I've completed this and I'm going to get 100 experience and 107 gil. Complete! Cool. So, uh, yeah, that's that first, our very first main scenario quest complete. And I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Thanks for tuning into this video. If you're interested to see what adventures I get up to next, then definitely stay tuned for the next video. It should be coming out soon. Please leave a comment. Please like the video. You know, tell me how much you liked it. Give me some advice. Tell me what you want to see. You know, I want to hear it all. So like I said, leave a comment, like this video, share it with your friends, and please don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.